Hi everybody, I'm going to share a tool that we use right now to check for accessibility. It's called the Universal Design Online Content Inspection Tool, but we call it You Do It. And this was created by our friends at UCF. Uh, what You Do It does is it will scan a course and generate a report for us, and then it provides uh, resources on what we need to do to address accessibility issues. And you can find You Do It in every course that you teach. It'll be in the course navigation, typically towards the bottom. So you'll click on this, um, it says you do it, and then you can scan a course. It explains what you what um, you do it looks for, and I'll click this big green button at the bottom of the screen. When it's done scanning, then you'll have a report. You can scan through the report, and it'll identify any errors that need to be corrected in the course, as well as any suggestions for you. In this case, I can see that I have eight errors. Uh, some of them are related to lack of captions found in videos, and others um, deal with insufficient text color um, with the background. There's not enough contrast. And so I can scroll through, and I can see my announcements, my assignments, and I can see the various pages and it gives me um, a list of how many suggestions I need to um, address for each page as well as um, the errors. And so I can see that my You Do It page has one error. If I expand this, then I can see the details on that error. In this case, it tells me there's insufficient text color contrast with the background, uh, meaning a good contrast would have very dark text on a light background or very light text on a dark background. So I can view the source of the issue, what's causing me the problems. Looks like I have um, I have something that says, what is you do it, a header of some sort. And then it tells me the code for that. It says, here's the code and this is too light. Um, this is a, a very light color text found on a white background. And so I can fix it from this page or I can um, click to the, the actual page and I can replace the color of the background with a color that is better. So right now I have a color. Um, this is the hex code. It's a percent sign with um, the alphanumeric numbers and letters FF9900. And so I can see that that's not, that's not a valid color. And so what I can do is I can darken it. I can work to darken the background or um, or the the text. So if I darken the background behind the text, then I can try and find something with a good ratio. I'm going to bump this back down. What I want to do is replace the color of the text with something that's a little bit darker. So I can click lighten and darken. Of course, lighten is going to make the ratio worse, but if I darken it, then I can try and find something better. So this is a good uh, contrast for text. I can also use one of these um, these built-in um, color palette schemes, or I can click on the actual um, hex color, and I can find a color that that maybe would work. So if I look for something maybe blue, and darken up that blue a bit, then I can see okay that's a good text color. So I'm going to to submit this. And now I can see that the color um, contrast issue has been addressed. I still see an error, but if I were to rerun this report and scan it, then I wouldn't see an error on that page. And now if I go to the page where the change was made, I can see that no longer do I have an orange text that is uh, without enough contrast to be accessible. And now I have a dark text on a light background that passes the accessibility checker. And so this is one example of an issue that you can correct with you do it and how you can correct it. Um, sometimes you'll have suggestions um, and these are recommendations for you to increase the accessibility. Um, but first and foremost, you'll want to look at the high level and address all of the errors because the errors are more pivotal that uh, we need to correct right away in order to have an accessible document. And once you get those errors, then you can you can go through the suggestions and try and refine your course. And you can see just for this course, I've run several reports and I've been able to um, get the errors down from 76 to eight. And now if I were to run the report again, I, that would be seven because I just addressed one and the suggestions I've 
addressed um, close to 40 of the suggestions. And I'll keep on working on that and refining this course. And this is a high level overview of what you do it is and how we can use it to increase the efficacy of our courses and ensure accessibility.